Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do everything DIY and today we have a service call for a telecom room and we're working on a Johnson Controls package unit. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. We are working in a telecom room, at least that's what the room is labeled. I can see the two pipes in here that are braced. We have a water cooled package unit made by Johnson Controls. First things first, I don't know if you can see it from here, but that filter is done. They definitely don't do maintenance at all in this building. Looks like this will be probably be the control panel. Let's open this up and see what we see. At the moment, it is set to cooling. It's 89 degrees in this room, set to 78 with the fan on. Let's see what's going on. All right, all right. So we got the control panel off, got a control board, contactor, relay, transformer. What's this? This might be a phase monitor. Got a thermostat block. Terminal, terminal block, low voltage, possibly high voltage. I see a little actuator in there. Compressors behind, filter dryer. This is a water cooled unit. Here's our strainer, that could be dirty. There's our evaporator coil. That's gonna be where our filter goes. That's dirty. Got a water cooled condenser back there. You see the little gray tube in the back. And we also have some extra wires. I hope this thing is not controlled with BMS as some of these are. But it looks like everything is right here. I don't know. Let's see, I see an OB terminal right there. So this is probably a heat pump. To check pressures, you actually gotta take off that panel there. But look at this, this look at this stuff in the way. What the heck is that? Fiber optic cable, I don't know man. I don't trust that looking thing. We gotta open these covers. There's no access. There is no access there. You gotta, I gotta do it from here and be real careful. That is unbelievable. It's gonna set to cooling. Let's see what's going on first. R, let's check between R, oh, R and C. Okay, wait, we do have 24 volts. Between R and G, zero volts, so it's calling for a fan. The fan is running, this is your evaporator fan. Let's check between R and Y. Zero, so it's actually calling for cooling. So we must be off on some sort of safety. To check pressure, I gotta get in here. Where's the power for this? It says unit supply. Now this says low voltage. Where's high voltage? What's this? Oh, right here. That gotta be the disconnect. Let's let's reset this thing. The thing is, I would love to see what kind of pressure's on here. See why this thing shut down before I start pulling strainers and changing filters. I would love to see what is going on here. It's just to get to the pressures is difficult. But a couple things I could tell you right now. The transform was good because we have 24 volts coming out. Line voltage is good because obviously we got the supply for the transformer and we got 24 volts. And the thermostat is doing its job. Something here in this unit is not working. Let's see what is going on. Okay, so I was only able to get the high side on and that was a struggle in itself. We have a standing pressure of 219. So you know what? At least we'll see if it's tripping on high pressure. I feel like there's more of a chance. So dirty strainer, we'll shut off on high pressure. Actuator, valve actuator doesn't open, high pressure. Water not moving, high pressure. So let's turn this on. And let's see if we can watch the high pressure but with that dirty filter that could shut you off on low pressure as well let me set this up a little better i'm assuming this machine is 410a i'm gonna watch here 
and watch the little stem that actuator needs to open and I see it moving that little black piece on top of this actuator it's slightly moved so we should be moving water let's see Let's see if this thing starts. It could be a delay on this thing. Also, a lot of these fire alarm cables are disconnected. I wonder if it's even in here. But we can watch the pressure. We can watch the pressure and give it some time. Maybe there's a time delay on this thing as far as it's starting. Faults. AC. Let's see. So that's cool. It's calling for cooling. Fan started. Let's give it a few minutes and see if the compressor starts. I turned the power off, but look at this. This thing has bypassed something. Wires 27 and 32 with a car fuse, man. And look up here, I'm seeing it now. There's only one wire on that control. Unless this is one of them and it's, they bypassed everything. I took off the condensate pan on these so I can at least get my head in here. Where's the other pressure control? Oh, I see the wire right here. Unless this thing is hacked. Look at this. That's the other side of that pressure control. Let me connect that real quick. I put the two wires back. I put the two wires back and reset it. And look, the plunger for the contactors in. And this unit started, man. Somebody was hacking this thing. And the fuses, oh, that ain't the first time I've seen that in this building. I already know the last guy was here. Why is that just disconnected? Open circuit. All right, I'm gonna see if this is 410A. It probably is. Head pressure seems okay. I ripped off the filter. Let's check pressures. Thing is, to get to the suction line is extremely difficult. I don't think I can get to it. This is just such a bad spot. I even had to take off this pan just so I can like see anything but man this thing is hacked to death and i gotta figure out what's going on with that uh i, I looked up that di there's no wiring diagram on the panels usually uh, underneath the control panel we have a wiring diagram but i searched up the model i was downloading a schematic and i believe this is the johnson controls fx10 board if you guys noticed remember uh, notice this board do you know it you recognize it Leave a comment below. I think this is the FX10 board. I'm looking at the diagram and it seems to be matching up. And let's go ahead and check the temperatures. I don't even gotta take a thermometer. That fan is so strong. I feel it right here. That thing is cooling. We gotta change that filter. And let's do a little maintenance on here. Let's pull that thing and do some more research as far as what is bypassed here. What a mess. It was 89 degrees earlier. If you guys can see, it's 87 now, set to 70. Let's give it some time. And then we're gonna perform some maintenance on this. Christian right now is going to get the filters. We gotta pull this trainer just because nobody does maintenance here. All right, turn the machine back off. We still gotta see what's up with that fuse. Something's gotta be jumped out there. Let's close these water valves. Open up this cap. Christian did replace the filter already. And now we're gonna drain whatever's left in this system. Let's let this thing leak out. Oh, this little vent here. Open now, see if it flows a little better. Might be a little vent cap. Let's drain the remaining water in this line, and then we're gonna pull this strainer. This thing is slipping, man. There we go. That's gonna do it. Let's see what's up with this thing. Cap is a cap. Got a little bit of rocks inside here, but it's really not that bad. No? This? It's 
smells so bad. But honestly, the water's not that bad here. All right, just gonna clear this out. Let it be. Sometimes you could use a wire brush as well. All right, I'm just gonna put this back. You don't need Teflon tape or anything because there's a, actually a gasket on here, so you know you're gonna be good. Setting that by hand. To be honest with you, you just need to tighten this a little bit, guys. That honestly should do it. We'll close this and open the lines back up. There you go. Maybe uh, bleed this thing out a little bit of some air. Let me get the bucket. Let's just bleed this out a little. Even though it is going through the cooling tower, let's just bleed this out a bit. Man, that's a lot of pressure. All right, let's dump that. Should be all right. Close this up. And dry this down, make sure there's no leaks. And the strainer is clean. As you can see, we also replaced the air filter, but now that I'm looking at it, it's supposed to be two inches, not one. Look at the difference. This is just the exact size as it was there. So it's 18 by 24 by one and whatever is connected. Change the filter as you can see, but if you look closely, this is actually a two inch filter rack. This, this is not even the right filter. They just had anything in there. They, we just matched up what we took out, but this is clearly the wrong filter, but oh man, it'll be better than nothing. Jesus, at least push this in. All right, I got it like this. If anything, double it up, but even then that could be something bad. They need the right filter here, but it's better than a dirty one. All right, I gotta see what this is. What did they bypass there? Something is bypassed with this little car fuse. Unbelievable. This whole building is hacked. So we put everything back. Everything's running. Kind of same back up. Clean that, blow out the drain, change the filter, clean the strainer, monitor the situation. I looked into the wiring as well, and it looks like from somewhere from this board, got some blue wires coming up. And the thing we see with the fuse, they bypass the low pressure control. I don't know what's going on, but like 95% of the units I work on in this building, the high and low pressure controls are bypassed and the pressures are actually normal. It is what it is. And as one subscriber said, hacks bring you stacks. So if you see this comment, if you see that, leave a comment. <laughs> Anyways, it's just unbelievable over here. But what's good is that we are cooling. And it is what it is. Let's check out the temperature. It's already 71 degrees in here. I have it set at 68, but it's definitely doing its thing. Thank God there's no BMS going on over here. This fan is unbelievably powerful. Got a breaker panel here, 208, 120. So there's, yeah, we got all this telecommunications. Honestly, this thing has been ran like pretty neat. It's actually really nice. This looks pretty good. Got this box. Oh, it's their intercom system for their apartments. Here's our uh, condenser water lines feeding our unit. This thing reminds me of my computer a little bit. I like this glass case. Oh man, bunch of internet stuff. Anyways, anyways, yep. And then we got some Verizon stuff. Over here, we got the Verizon. It says fiber optic cable. This thing looks scary. And whoever designed this, where the electrical panel is there. I like to find that guy and, uh, you know, say a couple words to him. But anyways, we're cooling. We're gonna wrap this video up here. This is a Johnson Controls water-cooled heat pump. And if anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.